This project is so important because it touches upon many aspects that are very important to the economic diversification of the country. We are essentially creating a new agriculture industry. We're supporting the oil industry here in the UAE. We're also supporting the aviation industry. Aviation over the last century has achieved many fascinating key milestones. And I really wouldn't rule this one out as being yet another in a long line of distinguished and interesting successes. To be able to reduce the carbon footprint, to be able to make air travel more efficient, bringing together the partners that we've got involved in this project means that, you know what? We're on the cusp of a next major milestone. Uh, and that's what we're doing here. We're proving out that what was just an idea several years ago um, is actually practical. The seawater energy and agricultural system works. We have a system that produces food, that produces biomass, that absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, and that supports several industries, creates new industries that are at the heart of the economic uh, diversification strategy for the UAE. It has been a great challenge for everyone uh, because it's a new idea that have not been tried before. But this is what universities uh, and research and development is about. We've made commitments to reduce emissions from aviation significantly. By 2050, we're gonna cut in half the emissions that we used in 2005. And of course, at the exact same time, we're gonna be flying twice as much. The math is pretty tough. Essentially, the sustainability comes from several different elements. But the centerpiece of this is that we're producing biomass using seawater and desert sand. All that makes uh, that biofuel uh, a great fit for the country and a great future for a sustainable and clean energy for the world. Our seawater energy and agriculture system takes seawater and we pump it inland where we grow fish and or shrimp. While these animals grow, they generate waste and this waste goes into the water. And we use it as a liquid fertilizer to irrigate fields of halophyte plants where we're growing a specific plant called Salicornia bigelovia. We harvest the salicornia, okay, we use machines to separate the seeds from the straw, and then we take these seeds and we crush them to obtain their oil. So we take this oil and we send it to the refining center. And then when it's processed and it goes through then a fuel uh, creation process, it allows it to be mixed with regular jet aviation fuel. And that mix allows it to go in unmodified engines. So this is a non-traditional oil feedstock, uh, something that we've not had the opportunity to try before, but the results from this demonstration have been very positive. I think it's a, definitely a, a very good choice for a feedstock for the eco-fining or the renewable jet process. For a refiner, it's not a, such a complicated process. It is pretty close to what we are used to do with conventional oil. Going back to our process, we make the water pass through bands of mangrove forests. And the mangroves help us clean the water further, and it also helps us in absorbing carbon dioxide. After the mangrove forest, the water returns to the ocean in the same condition as the water that originally came into our system. Now this project's so important because it's about more than just biofuel. This is about the intersection of these three critical interests, water, energy, and food security. And that differentiates this from every other biofuel project we've been working on around the world. This is a very innovative project uh, where we have the opportunity to develop a fully new process uh, to bring new biojet fuel into the market. Our economic model takes elements of this supply chain within the seawater energy and agriculture system that pay for other parts of the model. And now the next thing we're looking for to really see the success continue is scaling the project. And that's the next big challenge, that's the next big thing to prove out because at scale, then it begins to change the energy side of the equation.